This is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc. Name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. And today we're going to replace a cracked laptop screen on a compact Presario CQ62 laptop computer. Uh, this is a pretty popular laptop. You can find it pretty much in any place that does so. Laptops, so I assume the screen gets cracked a lot and people probably don't want to pay too much money to get it replaced. So we're going to teach you how to do it yourself. Uh, this one, it's not too bad. There is one trick involved that I'll show you that will save you lots of time and effort. Okay, um, in order to get to the screen, you have to remove this plastic frame. And the way that this laptop is designed, there's two screws, one down here and one down here, that you have to get to to remove this plastic frame. Now, if you look in the HP or a compact service manual, they're going to tell you to remove this plastic cover, remove the keyboard, take the screen assembly off the hinges, and then get to the screws and to replace the screen. Uh, we're going to have a trick that's going to do make things a lot quicker. So let's look at the tools we need. And we need a pair of metal tweezers. We need a X-Acto knife with a sharp pointed blade. We need a small, tiny, flathead screwdriver. So you could probably use at a Radio Shack or Ace Hardware or places like that. So just it has to be very small. And it has to be a flathead. And then we need a small electronic screwdriver with a PH1 bit and a smaller pH zero bit. Alright, so step one for this laptop is that these screws that we're talking about, they're down here. Let's see if we can get a good view of them. And they have little plastic covers. So we want to remove the plastic cover to get to the screws. So what I like to do with the plastic cover is attach it to the side of the screen or to the plastic frame so I don't lose it. Once we do that, this is where our trick comes in. So we have to use the screw, the screw to remove the screwdriver to remove the screw at an angle. That's why we use a small one. So what I like to do is tilt the laptop and put a lot of pressure and loosen the screw, and it comes out. So that's one screw, and put that keep different sets of screws in different parts. Alright, next we're going to do the exact same thing on this side. We use our we use our exacto knife to remove the plastic cover. And then we use our small screwdriver. Okay. Put a lot of pressure at first. You don't want to strip the screw. Sometimes they're hard, sometimes they're easy. This one is relatively easy. All right, so I'm going to remove these, this screw. All right, so next we have to remove the plastic frame. And this is probably the second hardest part of the job. We just did the hardest part of the job. What I like to do is grab from the screen side with my fingertips and gently start prying up until I hear snapping sounds. Once I hear snapping sounds, that's a good sign. I also hear the adhesive coming off. So we go slowly. Try not to break the spring. Sometimes you end up breaking it. So that's okay. So go slowly. Let the adhesive come off slowly. It's coming, you can even see the adhesive. So coming off. Okay. And then we get to the bottom. 
Okay, keep going. The bottom has the adhesive. It, this will probably take you a little longer than it takes me because obviously I've done this before. But take your time. And the plastic frame is removed and it's in one piece. So we have some adhesive. What I have to do is remove it. And when we put this frame back on, it's going to be without the adhesive. So you won't notice the difference. Okay, so it's off. And we toss the adhesive out. Okay, we put the plastic frame to the side. Now let's take a look and see what's going on with the screen assembly. The screws that are holding the screen are on some metal, are attached to the metal brackets on the sides, like so. And we have to get to these screws. So right now they're too far in to get to with a screwdriver. So what we need to do is tilt the screen assembly forward a little bit. And in order to do that, we remove these screws on top. One and two. Once again, keep the screws separated so you know what goes where. Okay, let's see if we can tilt the screen assembly forward a little bit. We can, but it's not enough to get to the screws at the bottom. So I have another trick for you, is you loosen these screws on the bottom, not to remove them, just loosen them. And what that does is lets us tilt the assembly forward a little bit so we can get to the screws on the side. So loosen the three screws and let's try again. So like this. And that gives us enough room to get to the screws. So this is where we go to a thinner pH zero bit to get to the screw. Okay, we have one. There's two screws on each side. There's one. And when you do this, have the screen tilted back a little bit so when the screen is loose, it doesn't, it doesn't just fall forward on you because there's a connector on the back. Okay, so there's two. And tape the screws together. All right, let's turn it around the other way again. Let's get to this side. We we'll use the smaller pH zero bit to get to it. Okay. Sometimes you have to use a little bit of force to get the screw started. If we're doing that. Almost there. That's one screw and the last screw. Okay, make sure this, once again, the screen doesn't fall forward on you when you release this. Okay, now this particular laptop does not have a webcam, but if it did have a webcam, the cable would have some adhesive that attaches to the back of the screen, so you have to loosen that, so be careful with that. But in this case, we just tilt the screen forward, and we see what's going on in the back. So this is a LED screen and it has one connector. So we have to remove this connector. It has some plastic tape on top that we have to lift up first. Like so. And usually there's adhesive on the back. But in this case, a little bit. And then we just pull this connector back. Like so and the screen is off. So let's take a look at this screen. This is a 15.6 inch LED screen. As of early 2011, this is the most popular screen out there for laptops, so you shouldn't have too much trouble finding it. Okay, let's take a look at the part number. Okay, get a good focus. The part number is LP156WH2. That's all you need to know, LP156WH2, and that's what you do your search on. 
And um, the other thing to notice that this screen has a glossy finish, as most screens do, so no, no problem there. And um, about 99% of the screens have the connector on this side. Some HP early LED screen HP laptops have a connector on this side, which causes some trouble. But if for a CQ62, I haven't seen any that don't have the connector on this side. So that's it. And to put the screen back, reverse the procedure and put everything back. The thing not to forget is to tighten these hinge screws down here so you don't have to go back and redo it. Otherwise, you should be good to go. And once again, my name is Eugene Panrukovich. The website is www.screensurgeons.com. And I'm the Laptop Screen Doc. And thank you and good luck.